you know, for me, it became a, a little bit more personal story, this story with the refugees in the coming in Greece, because, as I said, I have a, you know, I'm a refugee myself uh, from my mother's side of the family, and I grew up listening stories about refugees because my grandmother is a, is a refugee that fled Smyrna, Izmir, in Turkey back in 1922 at the catastrophe of the, uh, Izmir. And um, I grew up, you know, um, I, w I used to go to have hol summer holidays in her small refugee house in the southern of Greece. And my, my, she was telling me all the stories. She was from a very wealthy family very educated. She used to go to a French school in Izmir. And when the catastrophe happened, I think September 1922, uh, French soldiers came to the school and evacuated the school. And they took all the kids to Marseille. And my grandmother and her sister lost track of their parents. And it, I mean, there were hundreds of thousands of people died and the city was destroyed. And it was a war, you know, this is how it is. And, uh, you know, it was a miracle because they, they lost, the, the, my grandmother lost her mother and her parents and they thought they had died and they didn't know. But her parents actually survived and they were in Greece as refugees. And somehow through the Red Cross, through, you know, all the announcements of the missing people through the Red Cross it, on the radio, they found, the, her parents found them. And her mother, my grandmother, my great-grandmother traveled to, by boat from Athens to Marseille, like I think in 1924, um, a couple of years later. And she went to the nunnery because my grandmother was in, with her sister, was in a convict, in a nunnery. And she went there and she took her kids and it was very emotional, of course. It was fantastic, you know, it's a story with a good, a happy end and but then she didn't have money to go back to Greece and so she had to stay in Marseille for a few years working there in order to make the money to buy the tickets and uh, so you know this is a sad story but it's a story full of hope and love and you know it's the way you see this story so it was so much passion from the my great-grandmother to find her kids and you know it was good that the, you know it was only the Red Cross that did things by, back then and they found their and they went back to Greece and you know they make a family and all these things and I'll tell you what I remember every summer I was there every summer until 1974 when I was 14 my grandmother used to every noon they had announcements from the Red Cross of people still missing from 1922 and we're talking mid 70s and I used to say to my grandmother I said uh, uh, yeah yeah what, what is this what, what is this I yeah. so it was Dimitrios Papadopoulos is looking for his sister and and cousin who disappeared in 1922 in Izmir. And I said, what do you, how do they, they still looking? I said, hope is always there. And as long as there are humans, hope is alive. And make sure that you keep this hope alive. And I grew up like this. And I, I don't want the hope to die. That's me.